some early electrical experimenters speculated that invisible fluids were being transferred from one object to another during the process of electrification and that these fluids were able to affect a physical force over a distance. Charles Dufay was one of the early experimenters who demonstrated that there were definitely two different types of changes wrought by rubbing certain pairs of objects together. The fact that there was more than one type of change manifested in these materials was evident by the fact that there were two types of forces produced. Attraction and repulsion. The hypothetical fluid transfer became known as a charge. One pioneering researcher, Benjamin Franklin, came to the conclusion that there was only one fluid exchanged between rubbed objects, and that the two different charges were nothing more than either an excess or a deficiency of that one fluid. After experimenting with wax and wool, Franklin suggested that the coarse wool removed some of this invisible fluid from the smooth wax, causing an excess of fluid on the wool and a deficiency of fluid on the wax. The resulting disparity in fluid content between the wool and the wax would then cause an attractive force as the fluid tried to regain its former balance between the two materials. Postulating the existence of a single fluid that was either gained or lost through rubbing accounted best for the observed behavior. That all these materials fell neatly into one of two categories when rubbed, and most importantly that the two active materials rubbed against each other always fell into opposing categories as evidenced by their invariable attraction to one another. In other words, there was never a time where two materials rubbed against each other both became either positive or negative. Following Franklin's speculation of the wool rubbing something off of the wax, the type of charge that was associated with rubbed wax became known as negative because it was supposed to have a deficiency of fluid. While the type of charge associated with rubbing wool became known as positive because it was supposed to have an excess of fluid. To this day it is conventional to speak of electricity flowing from positive to negative, even though electrons actually flow from negative to positive. Little did Ben Franklin know that his innocent conjecture would cause so much confusion for students of electricity in the future. Because of this, there are some textbooks published in versions that use Franklin's conventional current. And there are other versions that use electron current. Thanks for watching.